Okay, so I've got something special. Mm. Albion Dane. That's pretty, pretty impressive. How many of them did they make, Vaughn? They're going to make 100, apparently. 100. Now, I say impressive, but uh, there's a bit of a sad story that goes with this one. And you might notice when I hold up this end. to a friend of mine mm. and unfortunately what happened is someone decided that this was an axe and tried to cut a tree down with it and they're not axes they're not made for cutting down trees so now it is a bit shorter than it used to be but uh yeah i thought we'd talk a bit about it the the characteristics i can tell you is that the hand mm. is very nice very well shaped and um Balance, even though it's missing half of itself, is, is very nice. Uh, obviously, the, the hilt construction is very nice mm. anyway. Why is the guard so small for a weapon that's so big? Well, Any ideas it, on why? They're variants. I mean, I have seen some great swords that have ridiculously huge guards. Mm. My guess would be that this one isn't very defensive and it's a very yeah. offensive weapon and you're not meant to be spending a lot of time worrying about your hands mm -hmm. um, or you're meant to be gripping it up and striking down striking forwards um, but you know lots of different swords from this period have mm. different guards I wouldn't expect any of them have to look the same okay. but the, uh, the the guard is that uh, sorry the grip especially this sort of hexagonal shape is, is, is so surprisingly pleasant to hold really uh, I quite like the wire wrapping that, that it has periodically mm. down it little rivets or nails can we see a close up of uh, some of those details yeah there we go that's, that's what we're talking about that's the, that's the money shot I'll put some stills later on. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, yeah, so... Mm. Uh, okay. Unfortunately, just... Mm. Yeah. It's interesting, I'm looking at the, the very tip of it where it's snapped off, and it's interesting to see that it has that tiny little... Yeah, bird. apparently there was a nick in the mm. blade, and it's, it's struck the nick mm. and split away from it. Mm. Got as far as here, and obviously there was another nick here. Yeah, it's the easiest way for it to shoot off is that way. So it's like a stress fracture; it follows yeah. the path of least resistance, kind of thing. But um, again, people, swords are mm. not axes. They are not for cutting down trees. If you own a sword, do not cut a tree down with it. Like, can they be used like a hammer instead? No. Well, no. <laughs> you can always, you know, murder strike someone with the quillium, but it yeah. doesn't mean you should start hammering them. Probably not a great idea. So there you go. I'll, I'll add some stills in. And um, yeah, please people, please remember swords aren't axes. Treat them with this. Swords aren't axes! <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. When you think about it, just how people, I mean, and it's a dedicated thrusting one as well, isn't it? It can cut, it can cut. It's oh, just, yeah. it's not made for trees, it's made for pikes. It's not for trees. But it, it would be more of a grappling and thrusting. Well, yeah, that's why it's got this massive stick cast over yeah. here, isn't it? So you can sort of grab yeah. it like but that. But you can, you can, like, oh, all the great swords you could cut. It's not oh, a big yeah. deal, but. Yeah. yeah. Well, on Albion, it, on the website, it seemed to say that. Obviously, you can't cut, but they were talking about how this. Oh, yeah, that's the needle it's point. A, it's a needle point. Yeah. yeah. It would probably be great for piercing plate armor as well. I oh, know, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look at that. You can just like, grab it like that and just I'd be going stick for, it uh, in. Shoulders and, and mm. armpits and, and elbows and gaps, yeah. thighs. Yeah. It's something you could stick a point in and rake them oh, down yeah, with it because the amount of leverage you have with something as long as that. If you yeah. were to grab someone by the leg and go like that, rip it around. Yeah. I'm sure you Maybe that's why the guard's so small, is just because. That would, you know, that it's, would help. It's, yeah. it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to like, I don't know, how quick can you sort of switch a grip? Oh, pretty fast. Pretty fast, yeah. Right? yeah. Well, the whole lashing double pay thing as well. Like, yeah. Double pay soldiers because they have to run suicide missions or something. <laughs> what were they called? Bloody, um... Double soldiers. Forlorn. Oh, oh yeah. Forlorn the, hope. Yeah, yeah. The, the criminals and all that shit. Yeah. Well, yeah. They, they, they were mercenaries essentially all the yeah. time. They didn't give a shit. So. Look at that. Oh, damn. Yeah. I can't believe... Why would you smack a tree? Because they do. It's a, it's a 
sets his fucking shame because that's a beautiful song. <laughs> well, there's only a hundred of them. They're only meant to be making a hundred. And I know that there at least. You know. I know that there's more than one that's been made. I, mm. I would dare say that it's probably at least a fifty or so that have been done so far. Mm. Do they have numbers on them? Do they number? No, them they don't. Them? But I'm sure Albion keep track of them. Yeah, you sure? Unless there's something on the tank. Well, that's it. See. There'll probably be something on the tank, but you can't see over the pan. That's oh, probably. But they would keep track. They, they do run well, They do stop them when they hit that number. They, they mm. discontinue them. So it's definitely an interesting business model, isn't it? You know, make the make the weapon. Well, it makes them collectible as well. Artificial scarcity. Yeah. That's what it's about. I wish I had the money to make them. Yeah, no, right. It's a bit, you're not going to convert this. You're still, you're, you're adamant that you're not going to like regrind I, the tip I or was, something. I, I don't think you'd want me to. No. I, I think. It's, it's a thing as it is, mm. and if anything were to happen, I would say it would be sent away and have the blade replaced. Yeah. Mm. That's fair enough. Because I could just, I could absolutely see, like, just cutting it off sort of here, yeah, or maybe that, here, that and then sliding it up. Turning, I, I, could, I could do it. I could yeah. pull it to pieces, but that would kind of kill what it's meant to be. Yeah, true. It would kind of wreck it, I guess. But, hey, you know, it's also pretty accurate to do it that way, because you'd be, you know, you'd be... Oh, yeah, but, like, at this point, it's essentially a short sword. I don't, yeah, have, I don't have to put the handle here, and this guard would be way too big for a short No, no, it's, it's like a fantasy one, because then you have like a grip here, this massive flare at the thing, and then you just have this. Like, well, yeah, I'm sure that soldiers broke their swords during combat and yeah. had to use a broken one until they yeah. could afford a new one. Look at that tip. I mean, this is the, like the tip there, because that's that's really, actually, really, really. Oh, you could that's actually really, really sharp, especially that small one there. You can still fight with this. Yeah. You can kill a man with it, but, yeah. but it's not really great for pike balls. No. <laughs> yes, it's a bit, it's a bit lackluster now. It's kind of like, oh, I have like a sixteen foot pike. I know, I'll take my broken sword to it. Doop, 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 doop. Yeah. I guess this is why in fencing they have the, like the the rating on all the uniforms. Because if this exact sort of thing were to happen, and you're thrusting with something like that, yeah, that, that would oh, that's, yeah, that's, would, that's 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 going in. There's probably a reason they don't use great swords in uh, Hema. Yeah. Because great swords like like those. Giant pole axes and yeah. stuff are just too and dangerous. And stuff, yeah. uh, I mean, some people probably do it. There's crazy European clubs that are like, oh, we've got uh, no armor and we will just do it. So, yeah, the no. Polish or hold man guys who yeah. just fight with sharp weapons. Yeah, no. yeah. So, yeah. That's a shame. It is. But so, what? He's not going to. He's. He can't afford it. He can't afford it. No. So, where's the other part of the blade? Uh, it was at his house somewhere, but he couldn't find it. Great. So, it's this. <laughs>